modding of weapons. As you can see, a weapon usually at level 30 has 30 mastery points. If you install the catalyst, as you can see, the upgrade over there, you get 60. So each mod takes up a certain space and has different polarities, which is like the V or the dash sign, which is kind of. It's all different for different weapons. As you can see, I have 5 points left out of 24, and I can put a mod with 5 that's there. Why am I looking wildfire? So I can put either ammo drum or fast hands. So the point of mods are you can mods have different effects. They either do more damage or add a status chance or different elemental damage. As you can see you can always change install different pre mate pre mods like A, B, C. So you can always keep flipping around against corpus grenier and infested. Okay, and now time to show you the different... You can mod almost everything that you have, like from your Warframe to your weapons. So these are types of mods you have. You have, you can just see all your mods, and mods have different rarities. Common, uncommon, rare, and then you have legendary, which is impossible to get since it was only given once. So you have different mods for also stances for weapons, as they give you more polarity slots. Rare mods are the auras, and they can only get be achieved through special alerts. See we have different mods and like as you can see like those small tiny bars are how many times you can upgrade it and that's where the fusion cores come in handy and also duplicates as you can see the number besides certain mods you'll see there's a number that's the number of duplicate mods that you have of it. You have different uh, rarities and you can find the common one easy. The uncommon one are pretty rare as you can see I'm going to fuse this one with its duplicates. So after only three it'll take seven and I get a stronger mod, which gives like a hundred percent noise reduction. This can be done with all every type of mod. Rare mods require more fusion mods to upgrade.